We have a doctor by the name of Vinin Vesos. He is a white South African doctor who works out of a hospital by the name of Queen Elizabeth II in the province of Alberta. He tied and taped a noose to an operating room door and told a colleague it was for a black surgical assistant. Take a look. Dr. Carrie Coleus reported the incident several times. She says authorities, through their inaction, effectively tolerated the egregious behavior. In a statement, Vessel said he made a lasso, not a noose, and it was meant as a joke. At the time, I did not appreciate the heinous symbolism behind the knot I created. I am terribly sorry and embarrassed about this incident. But in a written apology, Vessels admits he tied a small roped noose. There is enough here to dismiss. There is a, to, for, for that person to have been fired. Uh, surely there is enough here for the police to have been called. So as you can see, the colleague that he told filed several complaints that went nowhere. This doctor was never suspended. No formal disciplinary action was taken. He continues to practice medicine and this brother continues to work and refuses to divulge who he is or even talk about this situation for fear of losing his job, which is very common with our people. We will stay quiet for fear of losing our job and not being able to pay our bills and put food on the table. I, however, am of the mindset that we have to continue to expose these people because we're not protected. They're not doing anything when doctors and other professions um, are doing this kind of thing to our people. So what are we supposed to do? Just roll over and take it? Absolutely not. We have to continue to expose them and continue to file lawsuits. I truly hope that he does do this. And as for this doctor who first lies and says that he was just tying a lasso and then tells the truth and said he was tying a noose. And then, of course, the fake apology. You're not really sorry. You're just sorry you got caught. But it doesn't mean anything. And of course, because he hasn't received any disciplinary action, he's going to continue to be the racist that he is. And what does that mean for this brother that continues to work in this hospital? Is he going to continue to be uh, discriminated against? Does this send a message to all of the other white professionals in this hospital that it's okay to just treat our people this way? Absolutely, because there are no actions. There are no consequences for these actions. Please let us start holding these people accountable for their actions. We must, we must protect ourselves. So brother, if you're listening, please, please, please. Um, the medical association has reopened this case and they are investigating, which is always their de facto statement is we are investigating. I guarantee it's not gonna go anywhere and no actions will be taken, but we have to take actions and continue to do so. Let me know what you all think about this. Don't forget to like and subscribe as well. Also subscribe to my YouTube channel, EA Public Relations, where I report on all things black owned in Ontario and across Canada. Until next time, everyone, please be safe. Peace be.